Over the last week, these devotionals have pressed into prayer as something done under the fatherhood of God. Prayer is a longing for his kingdom and a longing for his will to be done on earth. And prayer as a humbling act of depending on God for everything we have and need. Today, we're going to be looking at the lines, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. As a child, I remember enjoying big faith in God's ability to rescue, to save, and provide. Uh, Even when things were hard, I knew his presence and his care for me. But then as I grew up and I experienced the world and I enjoyed the pain of sin, uh, it changed. The, The pain of wounding others and the pain of being wounded. It was like a muscle tear deep within my shoulder. Just this chronic reality of sin fixed itself into every part of my life, every relationship. Angry at what was done to me in the past. Anxious about hurting others. Fearful of being exposed for who I really was. uh, Judgmental about what had been done to me and what I saw in others. Sin is a lot to carry. It exceeds even our abilities, what we were made for. We were not created to carry the burden of sin. The Bible prescribes this pain with two haunting words, guilt and shame. Guilt, the weight of all you've done. Shame, the weight of what has been done to you. Guilt, the burden of proving yourself. Shame, the burden of hiding yourself. But when Jesus instructs us to pray this way, he's teaching us to confess our need for forgiveness and our need for him to even help us forgive others. Uh, Confession is the act of saying the same thing as God, or maybe better said, naming reality. Uh, We grow in our love for God and our intimacy and our relationship with God by being honest about who we are and how we live. We have to lower the facade and tell the truth. Like, I've wounded others. I am hurt. I'm afraid. This is actually how we bring our true selves before God. In fact, Jesus wasn't really welcoming to the self-righteous and the hiding. Jesus says that he came for the sick and those in need of a doctor. It it seems to me that the only prerequisite for joining Jesus' entourage was to be honest about who you were. A human marked and marred by sin. Jesus ate with sinners. Jesus forgave sinners. Ironically, Christian communities have become hiding places for sinners to pretend that they don't need Jesus. But we can't grow in our love and our affection for for God with all of our hearts and mind and strength until we tell the truth about our heart and minds and strength. This is the beginning of transformation, acknowledging our need for forgiveness and that Jesus alone can give it. One of the most life-giving things we can do is be forgiven and forgive. One of the easiest ways to crush your soul is to withhold forgiveness or refuse to seek it, which is why Jesus says and teaches us to, to actually pray Help us forgive others and forgive us too. We need the power of the Spirit of God for this. When we pray, we can actually look at our sin without any pretense. And we can look at the sin against us. And we can ask him for the treasure of forgiveness for our guilt and for our shame. The life of Jesus was filled with these words. You are forgiven. These words crossed his lips throughout his entire ministry, and they are spoken over us in every prayer and every moment. Jesus cries out, you are forgiven. Because of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, his love, you are forgiven. This is life-giving to our souls. And that forgiveness is just an ushering in of this intimate relationship with God where we pray and we acknowledge our need for that. And in specific terms, we acknowledge the reality of our souls and and our lives and our minds and our actions. So today, spend time journaling about the pain of sin done by you and to you. Confess how you feel about that. What has happened to you. Ask for forgiveness. 
celebrate his goodness. Make this journal a prayer, even an asking of the Spirit, who could I forgive by your power and by your grace? I hope you are able to take time to do that today um, and enjoy the presence of God today.